there are two main important parts of a three phase induction motor which are called as a stator and rotor where the stator is stationary and it is having a stator winding which is three phase winding and the three phase winding is supplied with a three phase supply and it producing a rotating magnetic field okay so same way the difference or we can say that what is the difference between the three phase induction motor and a synchronous motor is that both the motors have similar you can say or same structure of a winding which is used in stator but the difference is in rotor winding okay so now let's see what exactly the synchronous motor is all about and how it is different from our induction motor and how it is used in a very prominent you know applications like a generator or rather we can say alternator and a constant speed machineries where you required a same speed throughout the different load condition now as the name suggest this particular synchronous name or synchronous word has a meaning has a meaning of the speed which is equivalent to the synchronous speed and your motor is continuously running at the same speed so it is equipped with three phase ac supply having a rotating magnetic field and the frequency by which the electric supply is given to your so the synchronous speed is 120 f upon p and p is nothing but the pole pair so pole pair we cannot change uh, without uh, you know changing the overall structure of the motor but yes frequency plays a very important role in the working of synchronous motor so we get the value of synchronous speed and the rotating magnetic field is also rotates at the synchronous speed now because of the rotating magnetic field we experience that magnetic field is rotating revolving and our rotor circuit which is excited or we can say it is given a supply with a dc supply okay now what is the speciality of dc supply that it has a same polarity okay so same polarity hone ki wajah se kya hoga the magnetic field which is created will be constant okay magnetic field constant hone ki wajah se kya hoga there will be no change in the magnetic polarity and there will be an attraction and repulsion between the stator magnetic field which is rotating in nature and the rotor magnetic field which is constant yahan tak samajh mein aaya aapko yes sir okay now this particular synchronous motor has an another advantage you can say or it has an another uh, you can say effect like it is providing an excitation based power factor now what do you mean by that so if you increase the amount of excitation given to the motor uh, like uh, the rotor circuit basically then or we can we can also say that if the magnetic field magnetic field strength of your rotor is increased then the motor will possess a different power factor and if we reduce the magnetic field strength of our rotor circuit then we will be getting a different uh, power factor so we will be getting a either lagging power factor or a leading power factor so one thing which we are getting is a mechanical energy output that is we will be getting a rotation right the rotation of a shaft that is the one output we are receiving second output which we are receiving is that we can control we can control the power factor of a circuit where our synchronous motor is being connected okay so now this rotor where it is simply explained as a bar magnet or as a uh, we can say a permanent magnet and then it is connected on the shaft so as soon as the rotating magnetic field rotates our this particular magnet is 
tied up or we can say it is magnetically locked for different polarity and then the rotor is trying to match with the you know like with the speed of rotating magnetic field okay and this is how a synchronous motor is work in the actual field after that we get one problem that <coughs> synchronous motor is not self starting okay now why it is not self starting that we are going to see but before that i want to show you one video where you can understand that how exactly this motor synchronous motor is work okay so full, pay full attention and write down the notes what you understood from this okay so if you are ready just type ready in the chat box everyone as the name suggests synchronous motors are capable of running at constant speed irrespective of the load acting on them they are machines with high efficiency and are mainly used in high precision applications the constant speed characteristic is achieved by interaction between a constant and rotating magnetic field rotor of synchronous motor produces constant magnetic field and stator produces revolving magnetic field the field coil of stator is excited by a three-phase AC supply this will produce a revolving magnetic field which rotates at synchronous speed rotor is excited by a DC power supply so it acts like a permanent magnet alternatively rotor can also be made of permanent magnet interaction of rotor and RMF is interesting assume you are giving an initial rotation to the rotor with same direction of RMF you can see that opposite poles of RMF and rotor will attract each other and they will get locked magnetically this means that rotor will rotate the same speed of RMF or rotor will rotate at synchronous speed synchronous speed can easily be derived as follows this means that if one has got control over frequency of the electricity speed of synchronous motor can be very accurately controlled but if the rotor has got no initial rotation situation is quite different north pole of the rotor will obviously get attracted by south pole of RMF and will start to move in the same direction but since the rotor has got some inertia this starting speed will be very low by this time south pole of RMF will be replaced by a north pole so it will give repulsive force as a net effect rotor won't be able to start or synchronous motors are not inherently self-starting to make synchronous motors self-start a squirrel cage arrangement is cleverly fitted through pole tips at the starting rotor field coils are not energized so with revolving magnetic field electricity is induced in squirrel cage bars and rotor starts rotating just like an induction motor when the rotor has achieved its maximum speed rotor field coils are energized so as discussed earlier poles of rotor gets locked with poles of RMF and will start rotating at synchronous speed when rotor rotates at synchronous speed relative motion between squirrel cage and RMF is zero this means zero current and force on squirrel cage bars thus it will not affect synchronized operation of motor synchronous motors will produce constant speed irrespective of motor load only if the load is within the capability of motor if external torque load is more than torque produced by the motor it will slip out of synchronism and will come to rest low supply voltage and excitation voltage are other reasons of going out of synchronism it is interesting to note that synchronous motor has got the same constructional features of an alternator synchronous motors also helps in improving overall power factor of the system that's all about working of synchronous motors thank you so now you have seen the facts visually so now we will see why this starting torque is not there because recently you see that we need some external uh, force to rotate the rotor in such a way that it will be having a similar direction to the rotating magnetic field so when the rotor is at standstill condition like rotor is not rotating okay at a standstill condition and we are applying the voltage to our winding then this motor will not start because the magnetic field is already there it is started but rotor needs to be magnetically locked with it and how it will lock that as per the di diagram or we can see the design diagram designed 
uh, you can say design winding diagram we will be getting to know that how many north pole are there how many south pole are there and accordingly we will be getting the connection or we can say magnetic locking between the stator magnetic field and rotor magnetic field okay but the rotor magnetic field or we can say this uh, which is a constant value rotor magnetic field jo hai wo aapka constant value ka hai but aapka jo stator ka rotating magnetic field hai wo or revolving you can say revolving magnetic field it is rotating at the speed of synchronous speed to so, uska speed kafi zyada hai with compared to the stand still condition of rotor and that's why when it is applied to the stator it is we can say there is a gap always there is a gap between the rotor magnetic field and stator magnetic field because it is continuously passing okay then this particular rmf is rushes past to the rotor pole so quickly that rotor is unable to get started rotor is not able to get started and iske reason hai aur wo reason hai mechanical reason kyunki rotor is connected to the load mechanical load right so whatever the amount of mechanical load this particular motor has to supply wo continuously aapke magnetic field ke upar effect karega and if it is not having that much strength to have a a proper magnetic locking then there will be a problem so we'll see another uh, demonstration about how this uh, particular synchronous motor is connected and used in various application okay so if it is attracted first in one direction then in the other so there is no starting torque because there is a continuous north and south poles okay so now you can take a screenshot of this diagram but you need to draw this diagram in your notebook okay so it will take your 2 minutes to draw this or 3 minutes to draw this so just draw this diagram and type done in the chat box when you done done everyone of what kind of motor is used in this french intercity have you ever asked yourself what kind of motor is used in this french intercity train well this train has a three phase synchronous motor as the name indicates this three phase motor runs at constant speed independent of the load you can get this high efficient motor in different sizes and its appliances are varied the basis of this motor forms the rotating magnetic field which is produced within the stator by this power supply the so called rmf was already explained in another video so let us have a closer look at the rotor the rotor consists of constant magnetic poles which can exist of permanent magnets or be excited by a dc power supply like shown assume the rotor has initial rotation in the same direction as the rmf the a positive poles of the rmf and the rotor attract each other and get locked magnetically but if you start this motor at standstill directly the inertia of the rotor avoids that the rotor can get locked to the rmf so how make a synchronous motor self starting to make this motor able to self start a squirrel cage is fitted within the pole tips so the rmf induces voltage within the squirrel bars and the motor starts just like an induction motor at maximum speed the rotor field coils are energized now the poles of the rotor can interlock with the poles of the rmf at synchronous speed the relative motion between squirrel cage and rmf is zero and therefore you have no induction voltage within the bars of the squirrel cage that's why it will not affect synchronous operation of the motor A synchronous motor runs at constant synchronous speed regardless of the load. As load is applied to the motor, the so-called torque angle increases. Note that there is no change in speed. But if the counter torque is increased beyond the maximum torque of the motor, the motor will slip out and stop. Let's discuss some information given by the nameplate. All this data refers to the nominal range. The motor's rated mechanical output power is given in kilowatts. The motor rated speed or full load RPM refers to full load. This electrical data is important for the stator windings. Here you can connect the motor in delta. Note that the power factor at rated operation is 1. If the magnetic field of the rotor is excited by a DC power supply, you have further information to connect the rotor. Talking about its appliance, 
Synchronous motors are, for example, used in high-performance industrial drives for compressors, blowers and pumps, where an absolutely constant speed is required. Also, in some instances, you find this motor in drive systems for trains. The French train à grande vitesse, or TGV, are some well-known examples. Okay, so you got then another information about it, which is similar in nature, but also it will help you to understand with the animations. Okay, so now going for an applications of synchronous motors like uh, constant speed and precise speed. Uh, what do you mean by that? That whenever we get a constant value of speed and it should be remain unchanged as per the load variation. Okay, now what do you mean by load variation? Whenever we are uh, connecting a load, say for example, uh, have you ever visited a flour mill? Atta chakki hota hai, wo dekha hai aapne kabhi? To usme agar koi wo grains agar nahi dale hai, pisne ke liye, to wo no load condition ho gaya. Us par koi load nahi hai. But whenever those grains are putted in that atta chakki, aur wo electric motor se run ho rahi hai, to wahan par uh, because of the friction, you can say, or because of that mechanical load, the speed is started dropping. Or speed agar drop ho gaya, so that is not uh, satisfying the criteria of our synchronous motor. And because of that, you must say that here in the applications, like we need a constant speed, precise speed, then we are going to use a synchronous motor. Say for example, you have a vaccine or a, you have some medical a uh, solution which needs to be mixed uh, properly and it should be mixed at a very uh, constant speed then you can use this kind of motor in variety of sizes where you can get a same speed throughout the application okay so that is a one criteria second criteria is about low power motors are like positioning machines like your uh, machines used in a robotic arms okay so let's see that apart from the trains also where these machines are used okay so just pay attention if the motor is overexcited the motor starts operating as a leading power factor this way you can improve the overall power factor by the way the graph drawn between armature current and field current is known as V-curve. Note that this synchronous motor and a three-phase generator are of the same structure. A further appliance is the servo drive for robots. Here, this motor is excited by permanent magnets. But this kind of appliance you get in another video in our Learn channel. Okay, so now we have seen that in robotics also, or we can say low power motors also used in the positioning machines positioning machines ka meaning kya hai the robotic arms or a conveyor belts where the low power requirement is there and a very specific movement is expected okay so moving ahead with this high power low speed is also one of the criteria for the application robot actuators may use hota hai also used in a uh, ball mills uh, watches record player and turntables also we can see low speed applications are like rolling mills, uh, chippers, mixers, pumps, uh, compressors. Okay, so these are the different application of our synchronous machine. Okay, there is also one important uh, information about this synchronous uh, motor is that this motor can be used as a generator also as per the excitation condition as per the excitation uh, we are providing to the motor okay 